Hi ladies, I thought I would do for you my intense overnight facial. Uh, this is something that I do once a week and I'm going to start it off with my makeup on as if I've just come back from the evening and take you through each step. So I have said to you all uh, over the last few weeks that I've been wearing some slightly fake eyelashes. They're sort of coming to the end of their tether but I still have to use an oil-free makeup remover. So I love um, Nooks. And this is their rose petal one for eyes, lips, and face. Sensitive skin. But easy, just taking off the excess here. And then it's back to a scrub. So you know my favorite scrubs, I have many, but intense scrubbing, I would probably, actually, I'd say I was gonna do Lancer, but for this occasion, I would do the Goldfaden Advanced Scrub. I'll hold it up for longer the advanced scrub. This is a really intense microdermabrasion scrub um, and I want to have my face ready for all the products I'm gonna put on it later. So I kind of, before I take off my makeup, I actually scrub my face because after that, I will do a normal cleanser. But I like to open up the pores with a good scrubbing around my mouth, here, my neck, because I'm gonna do stuff with my neck later. Um, scrub and then take it off take it off take it off okay that's kind of half off and then I'm going to begin to tell you about this range that I have used for the last four months it's called skin therapy so I'm covered in water and it's by a lady called Julia Hunter this is her basic cleanser so I put that in on my face right it's very um, doesn't smell of anything and it's an oil free cleanser and then I'm gonna take my favorite little machine and just rub that in a bit. Get round all of the nooks and crannies. You might think this is like an old video because it starts the same, but it's gonna get into some heavy duty things any second. Now, all right, so we do a quick, I'm really speeding this section up because you have seen this before and this is just about face preparation, okay? So go gently round the eye. I'm always a bit too harsh. I've had a few ladies who said to me, you should use a ring finger, you shouldn't use this finger. And, and they're right, and I am a bit rougher with my skin than perhaps perfect, brilliant facialist people are. But this is the only method I know, and it's a method that works for me. So I have to just show you what I do. Okay, uh, around here, a little frown line. I might as well do a bit of massage at the same time. All right, washing off. All right, so I've got a totally clear face. The first thing I'm going to do before I do my intense overnight facial is to protect my eyes from the products I'm gonna use. So for that purpose, I'm using my favorite eye product, which I've said before, which is Opti Eye Crystal. And this is the only eye product I know that has sort of spun ingredients. And if I could describe to you better what spun ingredients means, it holds very active ingredients very well in the technology in which this product was developed. And I find it the best eye cream on the market. That's the only thing I can say about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna next go in the Julia Hunter range. Let me talk to you a little bit about Julia Hunter because I came across her by accident. I had used for quite a few years a range called Cosmetics, which looks like that. I in fact still use their Pure Enzyme Mask. And the lady who developed this range was a consulting dermatologist, was a woman called Julia Hunter. And she decided to start her own range. She's out of California. I think she has a dermatological practice in Beverly Hills. But unlike other LA dermatologists who all glitz and glam and had lots of things extra that they do, she doesn't believe in fillers or Botox or anything. She believes in using different peels to look after your skin and she does some really heavy duty peels for the body as well which I'd be far too scared to do but her philosophy is that you peel the skin to reveal a new skin and she does it in a way that she feels thickens the skin and doesn't thin the skin because I believe some glycolic peels can thin the skin. Um, so every three nights I do this regime I start with her product which is a peel all I know is this is the process of renewal of my skin that's gonna peel my skin a little bit. But not in a way that if you went to have a heavy duty peel, a dermatologist where your skin would get dry and flaky. This is a kind of daily or bi-weekly peel, 
When I started, I did it once a week and I built up and I would do one layer and now I do two layers. So I take a drop like this and I put it on my skin and it tingles a little bit. So the first time you use it, it really tingles. And I go all the way down to my decollete here. I've got a little damage on my neck. A long time ago I had a laser and it slightly damaged my neck. So I had this separated skin. So I'm always doing things to try and smooth down my neck and to improve my decollete because I have quite a bony chest and that means that all the sun damage I did made it a little bit crepey. So putting a peel on my skin here, as long as I don't do it anywhere near the sun, and if I'm doing it in the summer, I wear a very high SPF. That's a crucial thing to decide to proceed on any of these. So I put on one layer of the peel, and then I'm gonna do two layers today. Put on another one. I do the back of my hands when I'm doing it, by the way, because I always think we have to remember the back of our hands. And I recently had the brown spots burnt off quite well. One of them is actually peering back again and I'm very aware I have to put on 100 SPF. So I put that on. And now what I'm gonna do is, I don't know how many of you saw my um, last facial and I used this little roller. I'm using one with a slightly more needles. You see, if you compare that with that. It's a bit more needly, so I'm going to do this very lightly, but I want the product to absorb a bit more. I can feel it breaking the skin, so you've got to be careful doing this one. I'm doing it very gently, crisscrossing, crisscrossing, crisscrossing. You can see as this one is double the depth of the one I've used before, I'm really, really being delicate with my face. And where my skin is very thin, here, I don't put it on. Right, so I'm going across. There. A little bit more where my skin is rougher, which is down here where I had acne. So I will kind of, I'm now putting a little bit more pressure on. Does hurt, this one. It is a bit painful on the neck, it's like, ah! Oh, okay. yeah, crisscrossing, 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 up again. Or if you feel you took away the pain two minutes earlier, you can now go back in for a bit more. There, and the top again, come up. You can see it's very, very quickly going a bit red. Okay, then I go on to my next layer. I told you this was an intense facial, and it's called Exfoliating Repair. This is um, an enzyme mask, and when I put it on now, because I've done that little um, micro, you know, micro needling, I'm feeling it a bit more, but this is really gonna get down to cleaning out and peeling back my skin to reveal fresh new skin. So I put a thin layer of this on. My neck again here, <clears throat> it's a little bit sticky. It smells of citrus. And you have to look at her site to understand what this woman does because whenever I think about what else I'm going to buy from her, because I'm quite obsessed, I read her philosophy and I love her philosophy about skin and she's all about skin texture and making your skin texture the best it can be. And, you know, I have a, had a, a nighttime routine which has involved like five different products from five different brands and I've mixed them all together. And this is the first time that I have used just one brand for my night routine and I really am feeling the difference in my skin considering that I eat way too much sugar, which we know is a good skin. I, I smoke occasionally. Um, you know, I get too little sleep sometimes. I still feel the texture has changed and especially changed around the areas where I suffered from acne scarring. So the end of this uh, regime is I put on her Vitamin A Plus. It's a strong Vitamin A cream and I mix it with a product called Night Regeneration, which also has a bit of vitamin A, and so I take a little, she always says just take a bit, so I take sort of that, and then I take that again, because I've got a very long neck, a decollete, and like a little chemistry I do, one, two, three, four. Mix it together, it's a bit yellow, and then rub it on my face, and the combination, she believes strongly that once you put two products together, 
they combine to make a product which has far more active ingredients than if you bought it um, as a, a product already, um, already blended together. So this has a little tingling. Um, put it on my hands, don't forget. I'd just like to finish off with some Talika eyelash conditioning gel, which I always put on at night, just to help my lashes grow. And that there is my twice a week nighttime routine. And I have to say that my love affair with Julia Hunter is increased even further, because I know for her the packaging of a product is not that important, but the ingredients are key. And that is the opposite of some other brands where they give you the glitziest packaging, but inside the percentage of active ingredients are not strong. So for me, I've got to a stage in my life where I want to have the most supercharged ingredients that are going to have the best opportunity to um, help with my face. And the fact that a lot of her concoctions are things that once put together become far more active ingredients makes me very excited because then it literally is like it's a prescription product um, and I feel that I'm getting my bang for my buck. So the cost of the products isn't cheap. They, uh, I get them also from the States. I go to her site in the States. So the price has gone up proportionally because they're in dollars. But the products vary from about $60 to about $250. And the peel is probably the most expensive thing, but that will last me, uh, the first time I bought it, last me about five months. So if you have got to a stage where you want to rethink your routine and you want to have something that's quite an adventure but has great results. I'm loving this. Anyway, that is my bi-weekly nighttime routine. Bye.